300 years, humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged, seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Raynor vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minsk for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ayr was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. Old prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Mengsk, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of Dark Forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid, and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions, and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ayr. Raynor had vowed to see Kerrigan dead, but his retaliatory strike failed. Even his rebellion against Manx's tyranny proved ineffective against the Dominion's propaganda machine. But with the arrival of old friends and mysterious new allies, Raynor revived his campaign against the Dominion, scoring major victories on multiple fronts. But Zeratul warned him about the encroaching darkness, and said the key to stopping Amon was the Queen of Blades. She was needed alive. In a daring raid on the Zerg homeworld of Char, armies from the Dominion and Raynor, with help from Arcturus's son Valerian, used an ancient Zelnaga artifact to neutralize Kerrigan's power and free her from Amon's grasp. The Queen of Blades was helpless. The Dominion wanted her dead. Rainer couldn't allow it. Jim. It's okay. I got gotcha. you. Valerian Manx offered them sanctuary, but his father could not let this opportunity pass. During the raid, Kerrigan and Rainer were separated. Kerrigan escaped, 
while Raynor... He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Kerrigan sought vengeance. She set out to reclaim her position as Queen of Blades. With Zeratul's guidance, Kerrigan gathered the Zerg broods and ruled the swarm once again. Only this time, free. The killing will never stop. Until Minsk is dead. Kerrigan began dismantling the Dominion's military, one mission at a time. To her surprise, she learned that Raynor was still alive. She chartered a course to Korhal, Minx's stronghold. Despite encountering his best troops and traps, she personally ended his life. But there was little time to celebrate. Amon's plans were still unfolding. Kerrigan left Raynor to rebuild while she hunted her true enemy. Raynor and Valerian Minx set about reforming the Dominion with a just government. With the Zerg and Terrans quelled, Hierarch Artanis saw an opportunity. He declared that the unified Protoss, Templar and Dark Templar alike, would retake ire. Any dissenting voices went unheard amid the hope for reclamation. Zeratul set off alone, searching for the truth, hoping against hope that the Hierarch was not making a terrible mistake. The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Amon 
whose wrath engulfs the galaxy. long last, we stand at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The end war has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times when I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Antaro Artanis, brother. I... I can hear his whispers. Fight, Artanis! Do not let Amon consume you! Unending hatred. He has corrupted the Kala. 
Facemith Carax. I have been looking for you. Artanis. Oh, praise Your the nerve gods. cords. They must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come. We must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of Adun? I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. Inspired Carax, and we will free the Templar. A preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana. Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every rebel. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylaw. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake. If you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here.
you know this warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. None of them ever think it'll end like this. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend. Is it not? Give him hell, Artanis. Sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. I will preserve the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. of life is extensive. Hold. We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artanis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. Despite this tragedy, 
I am pleased to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. We cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lazul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Ayer. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ayer. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. Tell me, Vorazun, how will we bring destruction to your world? The Zelnaga Temple's phase prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge, and the planet will shatter. Amon will not possess my world. I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Bold. But we can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. Hierarch, 
I see the master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Selnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. I have come seeking the Zelnaga. Now, the 
Selnaga were the first, born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the Keystone and find our way here. It was here, from Alnar, that the Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us, just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One, pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change. And one, pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. Ahead of us, within the Chamber of Ascension, the Zelnaga have slumbered as civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. from the temple below. Target the epicenter. Listen to me, Matriarch. Amon's tribe is sprung. 
Your leader is in grave danger. You think us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened the gateway to the void. Dark energies pour from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. We fought well this day, Kerrigan. Join us. Together, we can defeat Amon and send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I have. Gather allies. Subjugate enemies, do whatever you can to ensure victory. Survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders, but I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. Hyrock, I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the Keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Kerax. We have a war to take to Amon. Alarak, the Taldarim have yielded to my authority and the Death Fleet is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause, as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> oh, so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Ready our ships for assault. Hierarch, 
Mobius Corps' vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Carax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. The Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. This hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the age of castes has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. destroyed your Terran army, eradicated your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back! You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron. to me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Avon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana. 
and step into this new age. For the day long. Set a course for Aya. Brothers, sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ire by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone. Removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror. But we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Your actions have not eluded my gaze, Artanus. Your plans are not hidden from me. Something more, and you will not stop us! Brace yourself for the full might of the Firstborn! My brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end, and with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity. Solendis. 
Dark One has been banished back into the void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors. Rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars. Receiving an unauthorized transmission. It is from Alnar. It is Kerrigan. We have waited long enough within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void, within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help.
Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. sideways real fast. These shadows are tearing apart our ships. We're not gonna last long out here. The voice is coming from up ahead. We have to reach it. My forces will investigate. It is Tassadar, my mentor. How can this be? Honored one, to see you bring such joy to my... Tassadar, a form I chose to inspire action in the one called Zeratul. In you. The prophecies Zeratul followed, the result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zalaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah. You don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, we'll... Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, Worlds destroyed. There's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny.
these moments together. They will always be with me. Darling. We have to go now, Jim. You about ready to get out of here, cowboy? 